What is the truth about unrequited love? Welcome to my channel on Manifesting Insights. I'm Valerie. Please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. Unrequited love. Probably since the dawn of time when a relationship that we really desire or even started to have doesn't pan out, we keep wanting that person anyway. Even if there's a 3P in the mix, we still want that person to love us, to spend time with us. Why do we get stuck there? Because we believe we have failed. And that makes your ego extremely dissatisfied. The ego is going to cling with all of its might to the idea of having that person. Having that person who blocked you, ghosted you, makes the ego feel in control. In control of the situation, in control of the relationship. Having that person makes the ego finally feel worthy and validated. However, my love, it is time to kick the ego off the pedestal. Time to kick wasting your emotions, your time, and your energy on unrequited love, love that is not being reciprocated. Time to recognize and realize that what really is the thing that you want ultimately is simply to be loved. And I have been told this by someone who I asked about what it is that they really, really desire. And when someone says that I want to be loved, that supersedes any relationship. They want to, it's just wanting to be at your core level, your deepest within your deepest part of your heart, just being loved. So when you notice that and you really understand that in yourself and admit that in yourself, then in your manifesting, your mindset becomes making it about you. You being the happy, loving partner whose SP cherishes you. And that's the source of love. Where it begins is within you. It's feeling separate from God when you are feeling unrequited love. But from your own higher self as the operant power, that love is already there and is ready to push out anything that is not like itself, not that same force of love. And it, it, it instinctively, that love is going to know if that person that you wanted, that you thought you wanted, and who ghosted you or blocked you, they, they know it's not the right person. That's why it's so difficult. And the ego starts getting frustrated. But love that you are is really looking for the person that is going to reciprocate and accept you and love you unconditionally, that reflects that in you. And sometimes that's called the soulmate or the twin flame. There's a lot of other meaning that's been attached to it, but really it is that deepest part of yourself that is, is seeking more of that love. But it's knowing when you come from a place of already knowing that you are that love, then you are allowing and surrendering to the God self 
to move you along the bridge of incidents to claim that person, to claim that loving relationship, that unconditional, accepting, loving relationship will be there for you. It already is there for you. And when you accept and understand that first unconditionally love yourself rather than beating yourself up, judging yourself, that is when the process really heats up. Explore that. Let me know in the comments what you think, your experience, would love to hear. Please subscribe to my channel, share, like, hit the notifications bell, and I will be back with more videos. Love you, boo. See you next time.